What's up everybody? It's your friendly neighborhood Dooley Ray, and this is the Fifth War of Alliance War Season 4. This time around, my alliance, the Scrolls, Scroll Empire, we are taking on Kenobi, the Jedi Knights. And um before I get into this war, I want to say that my alliance decided altogether that uh we weren't gonna really push this war. Uh, Kenobi is a really, really tough alliance, and we didn't want to uh, waste resources on a war that we weren't going to win. So let's go ahead and get into this. We're not we're not going to boost up to the max, but we are still going to boost up quite a bit. Uh, just because I, I can't not boost, you know? I'm taking in my regular team, uh, Sparky Void Nebula, you know? We're taking Path 6, as per usual. Going to boost myself up here. What do I got? What do I got? 20%? Yeah. 20%, um, anything else? I think that might be about it. Maybe throw a health potion, no? No? Anything? Ah, an attack potion, nice, very smart. Good job, Dooley. Okay, let's go ahead and get into this fight. It's a rank three skill champion, Awakened. I'm trying to think of who this could be, and I mean, there's Asian Venom. This is an unblockable special one, Aggression Fury node, so I do have to play aggressively, and it turns out it's Massacre. Which is really interesting. I don't know, I can't remember if I've ever fought Massacre on this node before, but he's got some tricky animations that uh, can catch you off guard sometimes, like that. <laughs> That's the only time I'm gonna get hit this time though, right? Alright, he's built up to three Furies. I gotta hit into him to get those, get those down. He's got an unblockable special one. It's tricky animation. It's hard to tell when, <laughs> when his whacking with his sticks is over. Uh, thankfully, Spidey saves my life there. I, I, tr I thought I had enough time on the stun, but with Limber on this note, I didn't. I get him down, though. Get him down. I lost a bit more health than I would have liked to, but I got him down at least. I'm thinking this up here is an Awakened 6-star champion. It's gonna be a Red Hulk, I believe. I don't know if it's in his profile or not, but I had a pretty good idea. Yeah. Oh my gosh, 4, 5, 65 is in a Korg. Jeez Louise, you won't... Wow. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Oh yeah, there's the Korg. Ugh, I feel bad for whoever had to dig that. <laughs> uh, but at the same time, I was thankful it wasn't me. Anyways, um, this is an Awakened 6-star, Red Hulk. It's on the Bane Stun Immune node, so I will be taking in Void to hopefully just help me do some extra degen damage. And yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna get this down pretty easy. Pretty, pretty easy. Hopefully. Hopefully. <gasps> Anyways, we're baiting out heavy attacks here. Gonna try and get a good Bane transfer. Throw in my special one. Boom! Nailed it. Beautiful. Beauty-s. He's, uh, he's down to like 60%. Okay, gotta bait out a special one. And then I can get another Bane transfer in. Let's do it. Oh, oh, beautiful. It didn't even have a chance. Never even stood a chance. Now he's below 40% health. He's going down. He is going down. If I don't let myself get hit, if I do get hit, I'd be in big trouble. And he actually somehow parried my special one there. I must have mistimed it, just barely. I think I'm going to go for an intercept here. There we go! For our Bane transfer, halfway through. Was a little bit risky, but uh, I felt fairly comfortable doing it. So yeah, that is Red Hulk down there. And next up we have Node 24, the Buffet Node, with an Awakened Skill Champion. Uh, it's a 565, so I'm going to take a look at the profile here, and it's going to be a blade, I believe, because when is it ever not a 565 blade? When it is a 565. Well, I'm taking in Sparky here. Didn't even heal him up because we're trying to save resources. It's at 80%, and I mean, I know how to fight this guy. I'm not too worried. So, come on. He's got the buffet node. He heals 25,000 health per, per regen. Which is not a very pretty number, but you're gonna see Stark Spidey start hitting like a madman, of course, because that's what Spidey does. So here we go. Got him down to 86%. Going to evade a special one. I did get a dexterity buff onto myself, and I would prefer. Oh, I'm trapped in the corner. He got a heavy attack off on me. There we go. I got an intercept off the heavy attack there. That's what I meant to do the first time. I was just slightly too slow on my reflexes, so I did take some pretty unnecessary damage at that point, but all crits on the special two are going to make for a lot of damage. Gonna try and, yeah, got a special two out of him. Gonna punish that, because I'm up against the wall, and I can, without getting parried, without worrying about getting parried. Gonna try and get an intercept here. I, I don't want him to heal anymore, so I'm trying to not use dexterity. And with one more special one, the fight is over. I have 60% health, so that definitely could have gone better, but I'm I'm pretty happy with the, the way that that went, for the most part. I guess I did get caught by a heavy attack. 
Um, up next here, we have poor Ragnarok on an all-or-nothing Strike Back Plagued Mind Node. And, you know, I, I've thought about it before, and I think he's actually a really, really good placement here. Um, there are some fights on this node that I just, I hate. I 100% hate. Uh, for instance, Domino is just miserable, because it's, it's not based on my skill. It's based on my luck, <laughs> or RNG. I don't have I don't have any, you know, chance in the matter. So, anyways, Thor Ragnarok on this node has some very interesting interactions. It's not so much that he's difficult; it's just you gotta go in with the right strategy, and yeah, you gotta know what you're doing, because you can get you can get wrecked pretty easily uh, on on this node because there's there's so many different things going on. So, anyways, I start the fight here, gonna build up some poise charges. He throws a heavy attack, so I'm actually I'm gonna hit into him a bit here. Um, see, here's the issue, is when he gets to, when I get 20 hits onto him, he's gonna get that power gain, and I can't shut off the power gain unless I have a special attack to use to, uh, to power, you know, well, to, to stop the power gain. Um, the issue is, I have plagued mine, so my, as you can see, my power is drained every 20 seconds, I believe, so that's tricky. Uh, not only that, but when I do use a special attack, there's strike back on this node. So he's going to immediately gain a bar of power. So I have to be really, really careful about uh, about how I play this. So I've got him at 20 hits. I'm going to go ahead and throw my heavy attack to get his power drain down. And that actually worked out pretty well. Uh, now i got to try and bait out a special 2 from him. Got my taunt charge up. And I just got to get him to come at me. He's not being super aggressive. And oh, crap. I was, I was trying to leave myself open. Oh, crap. I don't know what happened to me. Why me? Ah. Oh. I tried to leave myself open, and I didn't have fast enough reflexes, and he managed to get a hit in on me, push himself to a special 3, I panicked, tried to hit into him, he parried me, I'm still alive after a special 3, because it doesn't kill me, but at this point, the fight is not looking too great, I'm at 10% health, he's got that bane, or boon of the gods, whatever it's called, I'm just, I'm trying to, <laughs> trying to not get hit, but every time I hit into him, I'm getting these shock debuffs, and I, I, I get shocked away, into oblivion, so, I do die. Dang it. But I will say, this was actually, you know, this was a pretty fun fight. It's based on Thor's abilities and the mechanics of this this mini-boss node. I, you know, it's it's never cool to die, but I think that uh, just the way that everything interacted and how, how much I was having to think about it, I thought that was pretty cool. I don't like it when it's domino, like I said before, where <laughs> it's based on luck, but this uh, this Thor fight was based on strategy and skill, and I actually really enjoyed that. Anyways, I am going to finish this fight off. Um, I think, yeah, I went I went to bed after I died, and I'm just going to boost up again and take the rest of my nodes here. And, yeah, um, planning to not die to Thor Ragnarok again. We're supposed to be saving resources, and as you can see, my last revive is gone. Oh, this is where the unit spending starts. I've got four level four potions that I have to use. Oh, man. Gonna use three of them. Gonna use one level three, I believe, to take myself up just in case. And I'm gonna boost up. Nope, I didn't use the level three. Okay, okay, okay. Well, I'm gonna gonna use a ten percent boost. Is that what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go ahead and throw some some health onto myself. Gonna throw some attack. Gonna throw some extra attack because I will be using Nebula later on, and she doesn't hit super hard. And I do want to be able to take down. I can't remember what the character is. We'll get to it in a minute, but uh, yeah, I'm about ready for this fight. I'm looking at my health, 24,000. I think I got it. I think I got it. Uh, I just have to be a little bit uh, smarter about how I play this fight. So starting off, going to build up some poise charges like last time. Got two, got three. Got a heavy attack baited out, so we're going to hit into him, take advantage of that opening. Although this node, I've got it. I don't know why I forget, but... Uh, it, there's no limber on this note, so you have unlimited parries, which can be really, really helpful. And I just, I don't take enough advantage of that. So he's got me in the corner, he throws a heavy attack. I'm gonna try and get a special one out of him. Dude, he throws it like a gypsy or something. <laughs> he throws another special one, and I'm about to push him to his power. And I throw that one special one, and it's all over. So that was like, that was not so bad. Not too bad at all. Uh, I think that's a really fun fight. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. I just thought it was a good time. Uh, up here, we do have a Morningstar. Oh boy. 
So I think the plan is to use Nebula. I, I really enjoy using Nebula for uh, just this one fight specifically on Power Shield. Uh, just because she is bleed immune and it'll make my life easier if I take in Void. Oh, this is the fight where I took in Void. <gasps> I remember now. Okay. I, I thought to myself, I was like, okay, the sword, you know, we're not taken super seriously. Of course, we don't want to die, but uh, we're not we're not boosting like crazy. Nothing like that. So I figured I, I don't have to use Void for any other fights. So I can just, I can let him be led away in this fight against Morningstar. Uh, and hopefully I'll be able to get enough specials off to do enough damage to take her down. So I go ahead, and yeah, we'll get into this fight. Ugh. She's 97% health, I'm at 64%. I could have played this a lot smarter, if I'm being honest. I'm trying to get a special one out of her, and she just, she would not throw it until I got myself backed up into a corner. So this is about where the fight falls apart, I believe. If I remember correctly, it has been like a week or so since, since I actually recorded all this. She throws a heavy attack. I'm trying to not get her do a special two, because I don't want to have to dodge that. It will be unblockable, but I managed to get the dodge on it, and I'm still backed up in the corner, which is kind of frustrating. She throws her special one. Managed to dodge that, and we're going to hit Fear of the Void pretty soon. Very, very soon. Got her below 50% health, and this fight is looking like a win for me. Alright. Oh, but then I take a special one to the face. What happened? What happened? I... Really, I think I was just baiting it out. I was trying to bait out the special, and I just didn't react in time. That has been happening to me uh, quite a bit this war. And then she just gets one more combo in on me as I drop my block and try and bait out another special. So I I don't know what it was about me that day, but uh, or that that war. It was, it was the full war. I just I kept on trying to bait out specials and just leaving myself way too open. And getting punished for it as well. So now I'm going to have to take in Nebula to finish this fight off. I guess I could have taken in Stark Spidey, but uh, Nebula just was the safer option all around. So I get a parry off. This does have unlimited parry on this node here, so I don't have to worry about that. That's kind of nice. Uh, what I'm going to do here is try and push her back into the corner. Turns out, I mean, she's got some pretty nasty Mystic Dispersion. Um... Which isn't as big of a deal as it used to be with the with the whole buff and nerf to dexterity and everything. But if you look, she gains like maybe half a bar of power every every time my dexterity buff expires. So with the power gain node going on, that doesn't leave me a whole lot of openings to to uh, take advantage of. So I accidentally throw or I accidentally parry her, I suppose, and then I throw a special one on accident as well. So that didn't go the way I wanted. But uh, I power locked her for a second, and that seemed to work pretty well for me. So, even though it wasn't the way I planned, I was trying to get myself to a special two, and I just threw the special attack too early because I was trying to beat the shock timer. Uh, let's see here. I'm building up a few more shock charges. I've I've lost a lot more health than I should have. Gonna bait out one more special two, dodge it, get a parry off, and throw a special two, and the fight will be over without even getting to see how much damage the shock charges would do. So Nebula Special 2 on this node is just a, a good time. Good time all around. All right, so next up here, we have an Awakened Science Champion, 565. There's no persistent charges, so I know that it is not this guy's MODOK, because this guy does have a 565 Void and MODOK. And, uh, well, taking either of them would suck. Turns out I'm going to be taking Void this time around. So I'm taking a look at... Um, my other alliance members to ask them if they can take this node possibly give me maybe a little bit of a break um, but that node 29 gives people some rough times all right so I will be taking this node uh, with nebula of course I think I'm gonna heal her up a bit here and I mean as you can see or as you will see my potions are gone pretty much oh this is a pretty rough season of alliance war so far I'm not gonna lie uh, but I, I do throw that potion on. I have to reboost everything because I use the smaller boosts. They last for a shorter duration. And yeah, I got to try and get Nebula to have enough attack to take down this void. And I really should have boosted more than that in retrospect because as you will see, things do not uh, exactly go my way. <clears throat> Gonna go ahead and take Nebula into this fight though. Let's see. Oh, I remember. Oh, I remember this. Okay. So I went in. She. Oh, okay. 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 Let me explain. Apparently, 
I had I had really sweaty hands. I had really sweaty hands, and my phone screen was messed up, and it was not properly responding to the inputs I was <laughs> I was telling it to. So I was I would be in the middle of a combo, and then she would start blocking instead of continuing to hit. And sometimes I would try to dash back, and she would dash in, or I would try to dash in, and she would dash back. So this fight was just not going my way, and I was getting really frustrated looking at my health. I'm not already down to 30%. So, <laughs> oh, I was incredibly frustrated uh, with the way the fight was going. It's kind of hard to tell, is since you can't see my hands, you can't see what I was trying to do. But as you can see, I, I made some serious mistakes, and I was not doing that on purpose. So I actually paused the fight here to go and wash my hands really quick, and get a like a towel really quick to wipe off my phone screen. So probably not the best um, strategy. I should have done that before I went into this fight for sure. And we get back into the fight. There was a brief moment where the recording messed up, but um, anyways, I got him pushed to a special two here. I got everything purified. I'm gonna have to play this fight <laughs> like a boss to take down this void properly. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna have to time everything out. Stop at 29 hits. There we go, gonna throw my special two. I just gotta make sure that I don't take any degen damage. At the same time, brute force is happening as well, and that node makes it so that I have I have to be aggressive. If I'm not aggressive, it degens like crazy. It, it'll take away so much of my health. So I am gonna throw a special one here to push the, the debuff off myself, like so. And I'm actually, I'm not doing too bad. Um, things are not looking good for me, just because of those those early on mistakes if I hadn't made those this fight might have gone a different way entirely but um, as you can see here start taking some degen damage from his debuffs there's not a whole lot <laughs> there's not a whole lot I can do uh, with the amount of health I have if I had more health I really feel like I could have done a lot better and I mean that was me messing up early on um, I can't say that it wasn't my fault gonna throw another special two I mean there's 30 seconds left in the fight I have 4% health left and yeah, I've just got to play <laughs> like I've never played before. I'm going to take some block damage. Oh, I'm going to take some degen damage. Ah, before I can even hit into him, I've taken enough degen damage to die. So unfortunately, that is the third death of this one alliance war. And to be honest, this was a war where we were, my alliance was trying to take it easy. We were trying to um, not use big boosts, not use too many potions, and it turns out that if you don't use big boosts, you're gonna lose a lot of health, and that just, that ends up being more potions, and you end up spending more than you would have otherwise. Anyways, I decided to take in Sparky on this node, and I knew how dangerous it would be, because I'll have brute force, I'll have poison, uh, Void will be degening the poison, I've only got one poison charge, <laughs> I'm, I'm in a bit of a panic, because uh, I gotta take this guy down, I'm at 20% health, Throws a special two, two percent, one percent. I have ten percent life left when I take him down, and that is the end of this war for me. It was really, really rough. I'm not gonna lie, especially after <laughs> after the last war against Zeus, where I felt like I had uh, messed up for my entire alliance. I mean, a lot of people later on let me know, and I mean, my alliance is fantastic. I love I love all these guys. Um, they let me know it's not we we win and lose as an alliance. So it was not just on me, but I still felt pretty bad about my performance, and this war did not make me feel any better at all. So yeah, I did uh, die three times this war, and if we ever do end up taking another war easy, which I don't foresee happening, probably I will be still boosting pretty big to try and save myself potions, because potions are expensive, and they don't last forever. Anyways, this war was a loss to uh, Kenobi. This was uh, way before the bans happened. Uh, the bans have happened now, but this was, this was about a week or so ago, and... Yeah, um, there's not a whole lot to be said beyond that, so good job, Kenobi, to those of you who played. Um, well done. Uh, and yeah, till I see you next, guys, hang in there. May the RNG be with you, and peace out. Peace out.